Well, we just got the latest CPI numbers and I could regurgitate them, but by the time you see this, they'll probably be moving again. The real question is, do we care? And as financial advisors, and particularly our firm, where we do a lot of money management for our customers, we do care because it influences sort of the tone of the markets right now. A lot of people also ask, what the heck does it even mean? So CPI is Consumer Price Index. It tracks a basket of goods and services and it's all kinds of things that people buy. And it's looking for a trend in the average price. Are things getting more expensive or less so? Uh, there's another metric out there called core CPI, where we exclude food and energy because that's really volatile. And most of us roll our eyes because you think, yeah, but food and energy is a lot of what makes things so expensive today. So don't think I don't understand that. We get it, right? But what is the bigger thing? Well, it has a trend in how money is being priced. How much is it going to cost to get a mortgage or a car loan or student loans? All of those things sort of get baked into inflation and we've seen a lot of really high inflation lately. So that the market is hoping to see CPI go down right now. Although ironically enough, if we had taken this video a few years ago, CPI was way low and we needed to see inflation go back up. Okay, so the answer is what does it mean? It depends. Uh, we do not sort of wait on the next CPI indicator to make decisions for our investors. Over the long run, that tends to work itself out. And in the short run, who knows? So if you're a trader, you probably care about the CPI. But if you're a long-term investor, it's interesting to know, but hopefully it's not the tail wagging the dog.